You know, uh, people are glorified in their wisdom. And when you check it out, they really ain't. If you don't have the wisdom of the, the knowledge and wisdom of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, in reality, you really have no wisdom. That is the greatest wisdom there is. To know the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. There's nothing that can top it. Okay? So this is why it said, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, so-called wisdom of this world. Well, wait a minute. Let's go to 1 Corinthians, the third chapter. Right? What did the Apostle Paul say? 1 Corinthians, the third chapter, talking about the wisdom of this world. Let's see what the Apostle Paul said about the wisdom of this world. 1 Corinthians 3 and 18. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, the wisdom of this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. Why? Because if you don't have the wisdom of the true nature of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, in reality, you ain't got no wisdom. Okay? Let me say that again. If you do not have the wisdom of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, in reality, you do not have wisdom. That's why 1 Corinthians 3 and 18, let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world, for the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Heavenly Father. <laughs> so much for the wisdom of this world, which as it is written, the fashion of this world shall pass away. Okay, 2 Peter 3 and 13 tells us we're looking for a new world wherein dwelleth righteousness. So much for the wisdom of this world. This world is ruled in wickedness. Wickedness is not wisdom. Let me say that again. This, rule, this, this world is ruled in wickedness. Wickedness is not wisdom. Righteousness is wisdom. Okay, true wisdom. Because of the two, what is greater, righteousness or wickedness? Righteousness, of course. By far. Okay? So we're shooting for righteousness. We're the men that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has chosen to introduce this world to righteousness. That is, beginning with his son and the elect of the nation of Israel. We are going to introduce this world to righteousness. And that's pursuant to 2 Peter 3 and 13. And this world will see just how better it is to have righteousness than to have wickedness. And we're going to be the people that the Lord is going to use to illustrate that point. It goes back to what Elder Yaquab always said. We had to learn wickedness in order to appreciate righteousness. Well, we've gone through that. Now we're ready for righteousness. As it is written, the... Uh, sons of creation waited for the manifestation of the sons of the Heavenly Father. Why? To bring righteousness. Guess who those individuals are? We are. The ones that the Heavenly Father have chosen to be brought into this truth. We represent future righteousness that will be brought on the planet Earth along with our Lord, Yahweh Shai. How powerful is that? As far as the wisdom of this world? <laughs> Come on, I'm reading it right here. 1 Corinthians 3 and 19, for the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Heavenly Father. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Yeah, who is the wise right now? The top international banking families. They're trying to bring a new world order, right? But that's going to fail. And what those morons don't realize, that's the Heavenly Father on the left-hand side allowing them to do this. All the wickedness that they're using to bring forth their so-called new world order. The Heavenly Father is allowing them to do it because at the end of the day, he controls that on the left-hand side. And at the end of the day, the Heavenly Father is making a point by using them to prove how much more it is to have righteousness by using them to bring wickedness. Now, if you have not come to that understanding, you simply ain't got no wisdom. You simply don't have no wisdom because that is wisdom. To know and understand the Heavenly Father, man. To know that He controls both sides. To know that nothing goes down on the planet Earth unless He sanctions it. I mean nothing. Hence His name, Yahweh. It means He is. <laughs> How many
many people on the world or in the world have this understanding? How many? Think about that, man. Meditate on that. And this is what we're learning through these scriptures. Okay? Again, this is the greatest thing you can have 